What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the Procella P6 setup that I've been using in my home theater for the past year. Thanks to Procella for sending these over for me to review. The first speakers that we got delivered were the P6s. Those are now discontinued and replaced by the P6 Mark II. You can get the P6 Mark IIs in both horizontal and vertical configurations. The difference between the Mark I and II is an upgraded 1 inch neodymium compression driver and a new crossover in the Mark IIs. The grille on the Mark II also covers the entire front of the speaker, while the older model only covered the mid range driver. They both have a 6.5 inch mid range driver, and the Mark II has a frequency response of 70 Hz to 20K. They can be used for either LCRs or for surround speakers, or if you want, you can mount them up top on your ceiling as well for Atmos. I've got three Mark IIs behind my screen for LCR, two for the side surrounds, and three more for the back channels, using one as a center back surround. They're hooked up to a Trinel Valti 2 processor and powered by Macintosh amps. And I will be playing demos off of a Cladescape and as a PD Media Player. Since I'm only reviewing the speakers, I'm going to be running them full range, which will let us hear how dynamic they are on their own without the help from any subwoofers. I'll also play them back using a pair of RBH subwoofers. I'll have a review on those soon, but spoiler alert, they're awesome. The first demo we're going to check out is Ready Player One. This has got a ton of effects in every single speaker, and if your speakers are capable, there's ample bass response in each one of them, especially when you hear King Kong running through the surround speakers behind your head. I think even for a YouTube video, you can tell that these speakers don't do much in the bass department, which isn't surprising given the size. So when all the destruction is happening, it's barely a knock on the door. And when Kong is jumping from building to building, moving through the surround speakers, it's almost like he's tiptoeing back there. When you turn the subs on, it's a totally different ballgame. Now Procella does offer an optional 10 inch woofer that you can pair with the P6 Mark IIs to make it a full range speaker, which would probably sound amazing having full range speakers in every location. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Balls. The next demo, which doesn't dig as deep as Ready Player One, but has some ample kick, is John Wick. Again, like the Ready Player One demo, you're gonna need to pair these with a subwoofer to get the most impact. The gunshot sounded more like a BB gun rather than one that shot actual bullets. On the other hand, they didn't distort or break up while playing loud, but remained composed. Some speakers can sound shrill the louder that you go up and the tweeters can fall apart, but for the Procellas, they sounded as if they could take a ton more power. And when I added the subwoofers back in, these things were impressively dynamic. Alright, so these little guys aren't bass monsters by themselves, and that's okay, but let's see how they handle dialogue. You will rule all the galaxy. You will rule all the galaxy. As the new emperor. As the new emperor. But beware. She is not who you think she is. But beware. She is not who you think she is. Now the vocal range sounded similar between the two models, and they both have decent weight without sounding thin. The Mark II with his upgraded tweeter was sharper and clearer without ever being sibilant, while the older model was kind of muffled. Unnatural. Now comparing them to a center channel that costs several times more, the Porcellas remained composed while the other one gets a bit harsh. 
Traverse left. Uh, 800. Steady. On. Uh, fire! What? Traverse left. Uh, 800. Steady. On. Uh, fire! What? Traverse left. Uh, 800. Steady. On. Uh, fire! What? On. Uh, fire! On what? On. Uh, fire! On what? On. Uh, fire! On what? And lastly, we're gonna check out how nuanced these speakers are and throw on a quiet place. This is one of my faves for soundstage depth and subtlety. Now this goes back to how I felt when we used these for music. If you missed that review, I'll leave a link for that review down below in this video's description. These were clearly not meant for hi-fi two-channel setup because they lack the high-end finesse and detail that you get from something like a Martin Logan or Focal. The compression drivers in the P6s weren't able to give me that same amount of airy transparency like those other speakers that I mentioned. Those little subtle effects like the insects and twigs and crunching under the feet lacked real clarity. I mean, it's there and yeah, sure, you can hear the effects. It just sounds like there's a veil or a pillow that's right in front of the tweeters. So it's a little bit muffled sounding. Now with that said, the P6 Mark II has a substantially better compression driver that brings it a lot closer to what I've heard with a Martin Logan or Focal. I wouldn't say it's on the same level playing field, but it's just a little below. So when the effects would move from the front three channels to the surrounds, which are the regular P6s, there's a definite difference in timbre, which means they're gonna sound different. It's really detailed up front, then slightly muffled to the sides. Now seeing as the older P6s aren't as detailed as the Mark IIs, they do get better sounding the louder that you turn them up. And because the top end is so reserved, they can play super loud and not become ear piercing. And another thing about these speakers is that I found that they needed to be aimed at the listening position. So if you were to stand above or below the tweeters, they do sound very different. Now the horizontal extension was wide, but they were very vertically controlled. And this was for both the older model and the newer model. At the time of this video, the P6 is now discontinued, but the P6 Mark II is selling for $17.99. Of all of the speakers that I've had in my theater so far, these speakers are the only ones that gave me a real cinema type of sensation. And what I mean by that is that most speakers usually pull double duty for music and movies. These ones are clearly meant for theater. They don't look fancy or use exotic materials, and like I said earlier, they don't have the same detail and clarity as something you'd get from a really good hi-fi speaker. When you go to a commercial theater, those speakers also don't sound like a really good hi-fi speaker. They're meant to play extremely loud, be clean and distortion free while playing loud, and cover a wide seating area. The Procellas are soft in the top end, which makes them super pleasant to listen to while cranking those action flicks to beyond reference levels. They're a little finicky with placement, but once you get them dialed in and aimed just right, they do have a great horizontal soundstage. And as mentioned earlier, they do require a subwoofer or else they're gonna sound very anemic. So a subwoofer is a definite must. I think if you're looking for a true cinema experience at home, Close your eyes, give the Procellas a listen, and you'll think you're at the local cinema instead of an extra room in your house. Just make sure you get the Mark IIs and not the discontinued ones. Well, those are my thoughts on the Procella P6 Mark II and the P6's home theater speakers. Have you guys ever heard of Procella? And if you did, what do you think of the sound quality? Leave a comment down below and let me know. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you found this useful and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in the next video.